Today we are going to talk about powerful presence tip number five will be this idea of playing big. And uh, Christian was just talking with someone about presence and I was like, oh God, it's almost one o'clock, I gotta run out. <laughs> and uh, he was, you know, saying and sharing that um, the lighting here is bad, but I've got a Wi-Fi connection, so. I wish you could see the palm trees, so nice. Um, he was just uh, saying how powerful and healing our presence can be. And imagine, you know, when we're sharing about our work, talking about our work, exuding and connecting to that deep inner presence and that deep knowing inside of us and having access, full access to our presence while we're working on camera or while we're speaking from a stage or while we're sitting with a client or making a sales call uh, or writing a blog or writing an email, you know, we can endow and imbue all of that with our presence and our presence is a superpower. So that's my riff on presence for the moment. Uh, and then what I'm thinking about for this uh, powerful presence tip number five is the power of playing bigger. And this has been a life journey for me and it's my maybe my greatest passion is to help people expand. I think that's what we're here to do in this lifetime and I think that there's this magical alchemy that happens when we do step up, step in, and expand and it often happens right at this right past the edges of our comfort zone so I am a, an advocate for stepping outside that comfort zone a little bit sometimes a lot I've swung that pendulum both ways where I've taken wild leaps and had to flail and swim and hit a few rough patches for sure um, that's kind of my temperament but it doesn't have to be an all-or-nothing so this idea of of playing bigger the thing is we are habituated culturally conditioned for centuries since the cavemen <laughs> to withhold to shrink to not be too t-o-o -O, okay don't be too loud don't be too quiet don't be too big don't be too small don't be too smart don't be too funny don't be too dumb you know don't be too confident don't be too cocky don't be too beautiful all of these things and so we are habituated to this don't be too to play small to withhold we get ridiculed or it just doesn't feel safe to be the vast amazing brilliant lights that we are and I think that that is our journey and I think that, that definitely applies to the entrepreneur and to the creator entrepreneurs in my opinion are creators where we are makers and we are bringing in new ideas and new solutions and new possibilities just the same as those of us who are also songwriters or we write books or we write movies and stories and plays um, so as a creator um, it is our nature and our destiny to expand. So this idea of the pow powerful presence tip number five is, you know, play bigger. How do you play bigger? And uh, for me, I have kind of the ABCs of being seen and heard. For me, uh, are, are to be uh, authentic and to be bold and to be courageous it takes a lot of courage to step up and step in and own our idea our big idea and then share it in the world in the biggest possible way uh, and when we do there is an alchemy that happens an energetic healing alchemy that uh, changes not only us our who we are how we perceive ourselves but the people who we share it with when we are witnessed, you know, there's molecules behave differently under observation. And when we are witnessed, hang on one sec. And when we are, oh, we've got some lovely women walking behind us. Oh, they want my glasses. Uh, when we are witnessed and expanding at the same time, the transformation deepens. The transformation accelerates. And uh, I have read a... Uh, a book years ago and have followed the teachings of Marianne Williamson for decades now <laughs> going on three to date myself and I have quoted her statement that's been quoted by Nelson Mandela and often throughout the years um, you know who are we not to be brilliant and uh, uh, in that quote in that poem or writing 
she says, you know, as we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So when we are brave and when we are authentic, and sometimes one of the bravest things we can do, one of the biggest things we can do is to be fully who we are, to love and embrace who we are, to really fall in love with ourselves. And that's, you know, scary, right? We're not supposed to do that. It's vain, it's arrogant, it's selfish. And yet when we do that, uh, fall in love with ourselves, allow us uh, ourselves to have our intuition and our ideas and and to say what we think and to share our message in the biggest possible way and to forgive ourselves for all of our imperfections and insecurities and move, not let fear, what are people going to, people are going to laugh at me, people are going to judge me, people are going to, what if I'm wrong? What if I say something and it's the wrong thing? What if people think I'm full of shit, you know? What if people don't believe me or they don't get the transformation I think that they can have or, or they just laugh at me uh, or, or they, you know, d d take something away from me. So many things have happened and maybe that's happened in lifetimes, I don't know, uh, past. So we have these energies that we carry but uh, when we expand and step forward and play bigger, go for the big thing, uh, make the big claim, support it, back it up, love bigger, uh, think bigger for sure, right? We, we put all these unconscious, often unconscious limits on ourselves, but when we think bigger and step in and decide like no matter how scary it is or how vulnerable I feel or um, how shaky my legs are, or um, you know, if you know my my bra strap showing in my video, <laughs> or you know, no matter what, I am willing and uh, to serve my message, what I'm here to do, and the message I'm here to bring through. I am willing to do it anyway. I'm willing to do it authentically. I'm willing to be bold and step outside my comfort zone and that requires courage and I am brave and I will do this. It is uh, magic. That is where the transformation lies. Thank you, Miss Love, Abby. Um, I wish you were here so much. Um, that is where the transformation lies. So simply even thinking about playing bigger is transformational. It is without a doubt uh, it has to happen before you expand, right? Everything that exists starts as an idea and or a possibility. So being willing to say, how could I play a little bit bigger? How can I expand? And remembering that if and when you do that on behalf of your message, on camera, on stage, in a sales call, in a across a, at a networking meeting or across a, a coffee table or a dinner table. When you do the thing that scares you and you own your value and you own your integrity and you own, you honor your message, the thing you're here to do, just by being around you, other people are healed and liberated from their fears, from the way, places that they are playing small. So it's a radical act of uh, healing for the whole world when we step in and play bigger and go past the edges of our comfort zone. We step outside of our box. All the limiting beliefs that we have and all the different ways. A lot of people working on camera, for example, be like, well, I want to use video, but I don't want it to suck. I don't want it to look bad. And I have to have, I don't know what to say. And I have to have it, the lighting and the camera and the equipment and everything perfect. And the truth of the matter is the technology that we have today makes it very possible to make a video and add value. And the more you do that, the more you shine your presence, that is gonna be one of the most powerful tools you have to stand out today in the marketplace. So it is that expansion that's a little bit outside our comfort zone, outside of the box, uh, past our edges, uh, is where the transformation lies. And if we are expanding and we are transforming, then all the people around us benefit. All of the plants and the animals and the people with their suitcases, <laughs> you know, have an opportunity to raise their vibration by being in our presence. 
and especially when you're working on camera or singing a song or sharing a poem or talking and teaching or selling on stage if it's a little bit past your comfort zone and you can own and forgive and love and be radically present in service to your message and your audience then they will actually on a physiological energetic and spiritual level benefit be healed by your courage your authenticity and your daring so powerfully present is um, has many layers right we can go uh, but but if you start with that powerful presence the marketing language and the strategy and the how what where when why uh, will get clearer and clearer and clearer and when we heal the stuff that's in between us and our grounded presence, uh, we change the world. We transform inside and then the people and world around us is healed, whether we know it or not. Yeah, yeah. So what can you do today to allow your voice, your face, who you are, the message you're here to bring, simply exist and share it. Yeah, what can you do? Even if you know, how can you let yourself take a baby step, a beginner step, perfectly imperfect, perfect is done. And if you feel stuff come up when you do it, then let's heal that right let's address that let's clear that if it's a limiting belief or if it's a, a habit or a pattern or a condition you know how can you take responsibility and change that on the inside and and free yourself from that because when you do you have even more powerful presence to heal and free the people who come in contact with you or hear your message um, you know and your marketing is probably the most powerful message biggest impact you can make in the world people more people will see and hear your marketing than will uh, have the opportunity to work directly with you or even hear you speak live as powerful as that is right there's an alchemy and a whole a kinetic transference of energy that's happening live but video allows us to reach people all over the world in a few moments and uh, and uh, wherever you go talking one-on-one -on -one to someone at a networking event speaking on a video call uh, when you can drop in and own your presence allow your authenticity your full passion power and uh, uh, perception to, to to bear bring it to bear on behalf of your clients and your audience then uh, the magic happens and they are transformed right along with you there's one other thing I was gonna say about Marianne's quote oh she says it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us we ask ourselves who am I to be brilliant gorgeous talented fabulous actually who are you not to be our playing small does not serve the world. Yeah? So, what is one thing you could do today to be a little bigger, to surprise yourself, to be bold, to allow another layer of authenticity um, and embrace your courage on behalf of your message and the people that you're here to help? Okay? Love to hear your comments below. Click like, share. Please invite people to this group if it can support them and serve them. And if you uh, want to ch try check out my powerful presence profile, a little profile quiz up on my website, you're welcome to hop over there at michellecopper.com. It's right on the homepage there, and you can uh, see... Um, how that stirs your pot, the inspiration for what might be slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you from owning the full rock star power of your presence um, today in any way, and start clearing and healing those blocks and changing the world. All right. I love you, Abby. Thanks for being here. And uh, for all of you who watch the recording, uh, please let me know. Comment. Click like, share what works for you, what relates, what do you relate to, and uh, hop over and take that powerful presence profile quiz if you're interested. I'll talk to you guys soon. Going back in. Bye.